Jam with NFL Network now on the Westwood One Radio Network. If the words faster and better don't get the rest of the league on notice, I don't know what will. Ram Super Bowl champ Aaron Donald saying he's feeling better than ever this offseason and is hungry for another championship, which he thinks the team can execute on. On the Million Dollars Worth of Game podcast, he said after experiencing that Super Bowl win, quote, I thought I wanted to be done, but I got addicted to it. While the team won't have Von Miller, who went to Buffalo, they did bring in Bobby Wagner and Allen Robinson, which will certainly help the chances of a repeat. And don't miss the future stars of the NFL. Take the stage live from Las Vegas. The NFL 2022 Draft, presented by Verizon, starts Thursday, April 28th, in prime time on NFL Network. Additional coverage on ABC, ESPN, and ESPN Deportes. Visit nfl.com slash draft for more information. This has been NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. DQ presents... Picture this. You stand before the awe-inspiring new signature stack burger menu at DQ and your mouth wonders, where have you been in my life? That's five taste bud tempting cheeseburgers with 100% real seasoned beef. You peek at the loaded A1 stack burger with two premium sauces. Then the flamethrower stack burger with tongue-tingling jalapeno bacon. Then you realize moments like these are exactly why we have the DQ Signature Stack Burger menu. DQ. Happy tastes good. Get it delivered at DQ.com. The following message was paid for by Superior Home Buyers. Do you have a home to sell in bad condition? Call Superior Home Buyers. We'll give you a cash offer in as little as 24 hours. You don't have to worry about fixing it up. We'll even clean the property. We buy houses for cash in as little as seven days. No commissions, no fees, no hassle. Call for a free cash offer now. 800-537-4898. 800-537-4898. Get a fair cash offer fast. Call 800-537-4898. And we are the Imperial Valleys, AM 1230 KXO, El Centro, California. Last I checked, it's a Monday, the 11th day of April, 2022. In the newsroom, Gene, are we uh, matching Hawaiian shirts today or something? Darn, yeah, darn near. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, we didn't coordinate. Um, yeah, we didn't make those famous phone calls. No. Just What are you lucky. wearing today? Yeah. yeah. Clothes. You know, something like that. That's usually how it, uh, that's how it goes down in these neck of the woods. Yeah. And uh, in typical political uh, fashion... I have no rem, rem, mem, mem, memory of that. Mem, yeah. mem, memory, okay. <laughs> All right. <sighs> yes. Yes. Okay. Um, fire burning near, near Sealy. I'll update a little bit of that for you when we get into the local news. So. Uh, well, you can hardly miss it, I'll tell you. That's what I hear. Man. Okay. Anyway, uh, good weekend. Yeah, it, it was a, a good weekend. Things were done and accomplished, so that was good. Always. Yeah. Ooh. Duchess and I had a very quiet weekend. And that means you you didn't take uh, her out to walk or anything? I took her out for a little bit of a walk. Uh, Duchess, if you're not familiar, <laughs> is uh, she is a standard poodle pup that uh, we are fostering. We'll have her for about another 10 days. And then she'll go back to Guide Dogs of the Desert and finish her training, which she has already started to become a guide dog for the blind. Oh, anyway, boy. it was just Duchess and I for the weekend. Just the two of you? Just the two of us, and we handled it well. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. So, oh, well. the... Uh, um, you know, we're uh, leaving a mess in the kitchen for Pam when she comes back today. But, you know, other than that. Leaving a mess. Yes. yes. Oh, well. Anyway, and, um, well, I, still trying to figure out when Easter break. I'm sorry, it's not Easter break. Spring break is. Easter break. Yeah, it's spring break. And uh, it happens at various and sundry times. That That's for sure. There so, is no, what do they say? There's nothing consistent except the inconsistency. Yes. Anyway, are, are you ready for birthdays? Birthdays. We've got some. Okay. Actor, singer, dancer, Joel Gray is 90. 
Uh, actor Louise Lasser, 83. Actor Peter Riegert, he was in Animal House. He is 75. Uh, actor Bill Irwin, 72. Actor Johnny Mesner is 53. Actor Vesalius Shannon, 51. Actor Tricia Helfer, 48. Actor Kelly Garner is 38. Actor Caitlin Jenkins is 30. We got local birthdays coming up. Let's talk about it. Bringing community mental health issues to your radio. Listen each Sunday morning to KXO AM 1230 at 7 a.m. or on Sunday evening at 7 p.m. on FM 107.5. Or log on to KXORadio.com for a podcast of the show in its entirety. This program is produced by the Public Affairs Department of KXO AM 1230 and FM 107.5. Let's Talk About It is presented as a public service of Imperial County Behavioral Health Services. We have happy birthday wishes going out today to Barbara McPherson, Rhonda Allen, and daughter Shannon Walters, Francisco Montanez, Bianca Platero, Gina Aguilar, Nick Vasquez, Margaret Mitchell, Leonardo Sanchez, Anaya Patton, Jackie Presley, Castulo Flores, Dennis Cronister, Lily Soto, Marcy Retana, and Hector Rubicalva. Happy birthday from KXO. Well, in the news, a five-decade journey is over for a message in a bottle. Two teenage girls in England were looking for boyfriends and sent the message back in 1966. I think at that point, I was probably looking for a girlfriend. They could have called me. But anyway, volunteers picking up litter found the bottle. One sender was tracked down in Australia, and she couldn't believe it. She says she ended up later finding love at the age of 49. <laughs> Basically, you know, Gene, this is the plot of every Hallmark movie ever made, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <sighs> wow. No, that is neat, though. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, it all get the hankies out. We're going to start crying. Might tear up just a little bit. Yes. As uh, Burl Ives says, a little bitty tear. Let me yes. Know. And let's see, oh, last Thursday, and I missed it, it was National Beer Day. Mm -hmm. uh, with a weird con coincidence, it's also National Does Anybody Know Where I Parked My Car Day? <laughs> yeah, yeah there's never more. happened, right? Yeah, there's more <laughs> to celebrate there than meets the eye. Yes. Oh, anyway, Easter coming up. Are you ready? I'm ready. Not a lot to do to prepare for Easter. The only thing I did over the weekend, Duchess and I took down the Christmas lights. Well, I, you know, I wouldn't rush too much. Uh, no. About trying to get things squared away. No, we, uh, you know, it was one of those things. Uh, we figured might as well take care of it now. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, we've got news and such. Are you ready? We do. And oh. We'll talk. Uh, Carol's got some information on that uh, big fire west of uh, town. And, uh, you know, in the news from the NBA, <laughs> this is funny. The Lakers fired their coach. I think they should have fired their uh, general manager, um, LeBron James. He's the one that put the team together. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, uh, we've got news. A look at World in California news headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning. They are your year-round comfort specialists. CBS News special report. As horrific as things are for Ukraine civilians, they're likely about to get a lot worse with a change of command among the Russian invaders. CBS's Holly Williams reports. General Alexander Dvornikov is the man who's now in charge of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, according to a U.S. official. General Dvornikov previously led Russian forces in Syria, where Russia's been accused of committing war crimes by the United Nations, with airstrikes targeting civilian areas. CBS's Scott Pelley has been speaking with President Volodymyr Zelensky on 60 Minutes, asking what he wants from Western leaders. What should they do now? 
weapons, number one. They need to be very serious about it. But the U.S. for one is reluctant to get into a proxy war with Russia. The U.S. has approved billions in aid to Ukraine and CBS News has learned nearly 10,000 Ukrainians have entered the U.S. CBS News special report on Vicki Barker. Become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer and get special pricing on cooling and heating tune-ups all year long. Call today to become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. That's 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. Lock VIPs receive discounted service and maintenance, discounted repairs, and priority service with prompt service. Lock Air Conditioning is your local York dealer, but they repair it all. So when the need arises, don't hesitate to call Lock Air Conditioning at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. That's 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. Lock, the only name in air conditioning for over 40 years. York, install with confidence. Contractor's license number 696216. California Headline News. Big fire that destroyed a commercial pier along the Venetia waterfront in Northern California is now out. But there's concern about its impact on gas prices. The Valero refinery uses the port to offload crude oil from ships. If the port is out of commission and there's a challenge to bringing in crude to that refinery, that will absolutely have an impact. Valero certainly supplies a lot of California's gasoline, and if they're impacted in being able to process crude, that's going to be a challenge for this region. Venetia Deputy City Manager Mario Giuliani. Gas prices in the state steady at 5.76 a gallon, down nine cents from last week. Firefighters in San Jose describing a chaotic scene when fire broke out at a San Jose Home Depot over the weekend. People trying to find family members, employees trying to find each other, managers trying to make sure all their employees are out. Battalion Chief Brad Cloutier, the building a total loss, but no one was seriously injured. A pet hospital nearby evacuated. Twitter's largest investor, Elon Musk, reversing course and will no longer join the company. Company's board of directors, Jeff Scott, California News. World in California News headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning, your year-round comfort specialist. Hey, if your uh, AC didn't handle Saturday's triple-digit weather, better give Lock Air Conditioning a call today. Any supplier can drop a box outside your door, but if you want a partner who delivers great customer service too, rely on Cintas. Your dedicated service reps can deliver what you need to help your business run smoothly. From essential cleaning products to hygienically clean apparel, fire protection services to first aid and safety supplies. That service you can't get from a box. Oh, I'm ready! Visit Cintas.com and get ready for the workday. DQ presents How to Know if Spring Has Sprung. Step one, stop by DQ and order from the new Spring Tree Collection. Step two, grab a fruity blast dip cone, poolside punch, twisty misty, s'more shake, or any of the colorful treats at DQ. Step three, declare spring has indeed sprung and repeat steps one and two all season long. You know how to do it. So get your spring started today with the new Spring Tree Collection only at DQ. Happy tastes good. It's page one of the local news, page one of service of El Central Motors Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers. Three locations in the valley to serve you at El Central Motors in the Brawley Auto Center at Highway 86 and Julia Drive and now at the Imperial Valley Mall. Taking a look at the latest in local news for a Monday morning, Carol Buckley has an update on a fire in the west part of Imperial Valley. Well, the fire reported uh, this morning at about 6.30 in the area of Kramer and Silsby Roads. According to the Imperial County Fire Department, onion bins are burning. At this time, no threat to any structures uh, in that area. Again, significant fire burning near Kramer and Silsby Roads. A lot of smoke. A lot of smoke. Well, the County of Imperial has accepted a large grant. It is from the California State Library. The $1 million grant will fund the startup and maintenance cost of the Link Plus system for all public libraries in uh, the county through 2024. Link Plus is a union of catalogs of shared holdings between about 70 libraries in the Western Pacific region, allowing cardholders to borrow from uh, any of them. 
The funds will also go towards uh, developing and implementing a student access card program at select schools in underserved areas such as Nyland, uh, Salton City, and Westmoreland. It will give students access to digital resources and in-library services. KXO News Time, coming up to 743. If you're looking for something special for your pickup, head to the Brawley Quick Lane and their new off-road center. They specialize in lift kits, wheels and tires that have the right look and perform. There's names like Fox, Milstein and Rancho, Method Wheels too. Built of spray bed liners as low as $4.99. It's the right stuff at the right price. The brand new off-road center at Quick Lane in the Brawley Auto Center, Highway 86 and Julia Drive. The Calexico Unified School District has an acting uh, superintendent. The district board named Dr. Brian Thurman, uh, currently the uh, assistant superintendent of human resources and risk management, he will serve in the superintendent's position while the board searches for the next permanent uh, superintendent. Dr. Thurman uh, will fill the void left when uh, Superintendent Carlos Gonzalez resigned and took a position with the Imperial County Office of Education. The board is working with the firm, uh, Education Support Services, to gather community input through community forums and gather input on the hiring of the next permanent superintendent. A U.S. citizen wanted by Riverside County authorities was arrested Wednesday afternoon. The 30-year-old man was driving on Interstate 8 when Border Patrol agents stopped his car. A search of the vehicle discovered a 12-gauge shotgun, an unregistered 9mm pistol, two BB guns, a loaded 9mm magazine, and three boxes of ammunition. Agents also found out that the man had an active uh, warrant issued by the Riverside County Sheriff's Office. He was turned over to the Imperial County Sheriff's Office. A passenger in the car, a 34-year-old Mexican citizen, a lawfully admitted uh, permanent resident, was released without charges. That concludes this edition of Local News. Stay with us for page two. Page one of the Local News, a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers with three locations in the valley. Quick Lane, they service all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. Now at T-Mobile, you can get the incredible iPhone 13 on us on the network with more 5G bars in more places. This is the year, Amelia. The year I become a famous influencer. Oh, uh, yeah? Why is that? I just got the new iPhone 13 at T-Mobile. It has the most advanced dual camera ever on an iPhone. So my videos and photos are going to look amazing. And check it out. I have 5G, even out here. Whoa. I'll be able to post tons of content. Us influencers got to stay fresh, you know? Nice. So where are you going to learn to sing or dance or something? Better. Yodeling. Ooh, let's hike up that hill and do a live stream. Yodeling. Uh, I'm good. Thanks. Head into T-Mobile today, because when you switch, you can get the new iPhone 13 on us on every plan with eligible trading. All on T-Mobile's 5G network, with more 5G bars in more places. Only at 24 monthly bill credits with qualifying new line plus tax for well-qualified customers. Contact us before canceling service to continue remaining bill credits or credit stop and balance on required finance agreements due. T-Mobile is America's largest 5G network. Details at T-Mobile.com. Page two of the local news and the weather. Brought to you by the Town Pump in Westmoreland. The Imperial Valley's fine dining experience. And by Brownies Diner in Brawley, open every day, 7 a.m. till 3 p.m. A reminder from Karen Vogel, the treasurer tax collector, says the deadline, well, it is just around the corner. It's coming up. The second installment of real property taxes, they will become delinquent if they are not paid by 5 p.m. on April the 11th. Payments must be in the tax collector's office by 5 p.m. or bear a postmark of April the 11th of 2022. Online payments can be paid on a link in the tax collector website by 11.45 p.m. April 11th. Delinquent parcels will receive a 10% penalty and a $10 cost effective April 12th. Property owners uh, who have paid their taxes through impound accounts but have recently refinanced or paid off their home loans 
should be aware that they now may be uh, responsible for paying their property tax bills. You're leaving money on the table. That's the message. Uh, the Defense Commissary uh, Agency is saying to military retirees and other eligible beneficiaries. The other beneficiaries include disabled veterans and their designated family caregivers. Purple Heart recipients and former president, uh, prisoners of war, they qualify for a shopping benefit. Shopping at the commissary puts uh, more than 20% savings in your pocket every time you shop. That equals 20 to $25 on every $100 of groceries bought. According to Sergeant Major Michael Sacido, uh, senior enlisted advisor uh, to the DCA uh, director. Other benefits include internet shopping with online ordering and curbside pickup. To find out who qualifies and how they can take advantage of the benefit, go to commissaries.com forward slash extended dash eligibility. We'll be back with a look at the weather. When you're ready for great home-style cooking, there are two locations for the best in the Imperial Valley. Brownie's Diner, 990 Main Street in Brawley. Open seven days a week, 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Featuring delicious breakfast and lunch entrees, including menudo, liver and onions, and meatloaf. The Town Pump in Westmoreland is open Tuesday through Saturday at 4.30 p.m. Specializing in delicious prime ribs, steaks, chicken, salmon, and lobster. So for a great dining experience, visit Brownie's Diner, 990 Main Street in Brawley, and the Town Pump in Westmoreland. And here's Carol Buckley with a weather update. According to the National Weather Service, a cooling trend is beginning today as a series of weather disturbances move across the western U.S. Along with the cooler temperatures, periods of breezy to windy conditions are expected with the strongest winds today and tomorrow. Lighter winds and a gradual warming trend with temperatures returning back to near normal are expected for the latter half of the week. Dry conditions are favored to continue for much of the week. 91 the high yesterday, 61 the overnight low. Sunny today with a high near 87. West-northwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, becoming west 15 to 25 miles an hour this afternoon, with gusts as high as 35 miles an hour. Tonight, mostly clear with a low around 56. West wind 20 to 25 miles an hour, gusting up to 35 miles an hour. Tuesday will be sunny with a high near 75. Northwest wind about 15 miles an hour with gusts as high as 25 miles an hour. 65 degrees and town 49% relative humidity. Wind out of the west southwest 15 miles an hour. Gusting up to 30 miles an hour. The smoke, it's coming from a fire near Kramer and Silsby Roads. Onion bins are burning according to Imperial County Fire Department. No threat to any buildings at this time. Page two of the local news brought to you by Brownies Diner in Brawley, open every day. And by the Town Pump in Westmoreland, open Tuesday through Saturdays at 4.30. Golden State Extracts CBD is the first fully licensed GMP certified hemp processor in California making CBD. Everything is done right here in the Imperial Valley from growing to processing and manufacturing. Our products derived from hemp are a natural form of pain relief to help you with your aches and pains, help you sleep better and lower your stress with our specially formulated tinctures, pain creams and gummies. Best of all, you can visit Golden State Extracts Extracts CBD locally at their Imperial location, 520 West Aiton Road. For more information and benefits of CBD, visit them on the web at goldenstateextracts.com or call 760-355-9134. That's 355-9134. And it's sports time brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, an affiliate of the Strip South Network, working together to provide you the best care. Scotty Scheffler looked like a Masters championship. And, uh, well, he, he, he looked like the champion, and he is. Meanwhile, yeah, most of the attention on Tiger Woods, Tiger says, uh, hey, 
I'm glad I made it through. And he committed to playing in the Open at St. Andrews in July. NBA, final game of the regular season. The Nets beat the Pacers 134-126. Hornets hammered the Wizards 124-108. Cavaliers beat up on the Bucks 133-115. Hawks topped the Rockets 130-114. Celtics over the Grizzlies 139-110. Knicks, uh, they rolled. They beat the Raptors. 105-94, Magic uh, mauled the Heat, 125-111, Pistons over, well, Pistons lost again, 76ers beat the Pistons, 118-106, Bulls topped the Timberwolves, 124-120, Mavericks over the Spurs, 130-120, Clippers, they uh, clipped the Thunder, 138-88, Warriors whipped the Pelicans, 128-107. Kings topped the Suns, 116-109. And the Jazz jumped on the Trailblazers, 111-80. Meanwhile, the Lakers won. Yeah, in overtime, the Lakers beat the Nuggets, 146-111. And immediately after the game, the Lakers fired head coach Frank Vogel. Again, I think they should have fired their general manager, LeBron James. He's the one that put that team together. Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, ready to serve you and your family for all your health care needs. Let our team of dedicated physicians guide you on your journey to better health. Pioneers is a recognized leader in health care and has more than 10 health centers and clinics throughout the Imperial Valley. When the need arises, don't hesitate to come and see us. We have services and locations in Calexico and Brawley and, of course, our award-winning hospital, Pioneers Memorial. For more information on all of Pioneers services, visit pmhd.org today. Quick trip through Major League Baseball. The A's beat the Phillies 4-1. to one. Rays shut out the Orioles 8 nothing. White Sox pounded the Tigers 10-1. to one. Reds uh, ran past the Braves 6-3. to three. It was the Nationals 4, the Mets 2. Rangers ripped the Blue Jays 12-6. to six. Guardians beat up on the Royals 17-3. to three. Twins topped the Mariners 10-4. Pirates over the Cardinals 9-4. Brewers edged the Cubs 5-4. Rockies rolled. They beat the Dodgers 9-4. Giants slipped by the Marlins 3-2. Astros over the Angels 4-1. The Red Sox nipped the Yankees 4-3. And it was uh, the Padres beating the Diamondbacks 10-5. And it wasn't that close. And William Byron Knew he was in for a big challenge with a two-lap overtime sprint about to start. And, uh, well, he held off Joey Logano and became uh, the first to repeat as a winner in NASCAR's Cup Series. That's it for Sports Time, brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. Log on to pmhd.org for more information about Pioneers. Since 1901, Imperial Printers Rocket Copy has provided the finest printing and copying services from start to finish. When you choose Imperial Printers Rocket Copy, you can feel confident in our expertise and personal attention to your project. We have a team of professional graphic designers ready to take your ideas and make them a reality. From promotional merchandise, full-color brochures, blueprints, and high-speed copies to business forms and everything else in between. Imperial Printers Rocket Copy offers dependable and affordable quality printing. Thank you for choosing locally owned and operated Imperial Printers Rocket Copy. We have convenient locations near you at 430 West Main Street and 100 South 11th Street in El Centro and 184 South Plaza in Brawley. Financial news and the weather brought to you by South Southwest Security, a locally owned company protecting you and your property. Southwest Security offering live scan fingerprinting to the public. Oil prices may have met their match, for now at least. Crude futures are tumbling yet again, sinking uh, right now more than 4%. After nearing $1.40 a barrel in early March and topping $1.20 recently, Brent futures have fallen in nearly a straight line and now sit at right around $100 a barrel on the big board right now. Oil at uh, $94.19 a barrel, off $4.07. That's over 4%.
What happened? The global economy is catching up to high prices and investors are getting a case of the butterflies. Meanwhile, Society General said on Monday it had agreed to sell its stake in Rosbank and the Russian lenders insurance subsidiaries to Interos Capital, a firm linked to billionaire Vladimir Putin. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has triggered financial sanctions from U.S., Europe and Britain, prompting Western companies to sell their Russian assets. What's happening on the big board right now? The Dow off 155 points at 34,566. The S&P off 50 at 4,438. The NASDAQ off 241 points at 13,469. Gold up 640 an ounce. Oil right now down $3.55 a barrel. Hi, this is Jason Jackson, owner of Southwest Security. I've been providing private security locally for more than 20 years and have owned Southwest Security for more than six and a half years. I'm proud to announce that we have over 250 employees working here in Imperial and Coachella Valley. Last year, I opened Southwest Postal, offering you 24-hour access, 365 days a year. P.O. Box service to you. Also located at Southwest Security at the corner of 4th and Heil in El Centro. If you're in the need for security services, please call us at Southwest Security at 760-970-4500. That's 970-4500. It will be sunny today with a high near 87, windy with a west-northwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, becoming west 15 to 25 miles an hour this afternoon with gusts as high as 35 miles an hour. Tonight, mostly clear with a low around 56, west wind 20 to 25 miles an hour with gusts as high as 35 miles an hour tuesday sunny with a high near 75 northwest wind around 15 miles an hour gusting as high as 25 miles an hour 66 degrees 49 percent relative humidity financial news and the weather brought to you by southwest security services at burgers and beer we want to make your every visit a great visit mm -hmm. we want you to have great service. We want your taste buds to dance with happiness and your thirst to be quenched. We want you to enjoy great sports and great music, but most of all, we want you to enjoy your friends, your family, your date, your business meal, your party, your mom, your dad, and even Aunt Karen. Mm -hmm. At Burgers and Beer, we're all about you. Five locations to serve you. El Centro, Yuma, Temecula, La Quinta, and Rancho Mirage. Uh. The best oldies on the radio. KXO, El Centro, the Imperial Valley's local Local news source. CBS News brought to you by the Imperial Valley Economic CBS Development news Corporation. The hour. Your I'm Deborah Rodriguez in New York. The new week begins with new fears of new Russian onslaughts in Ukraine. Correspondent Holly Williams says there's been a change of the military guard at the very top. The former commander of Russia troops in Syria. General Alexander Dvornikov is the man who's now in charge of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. General Dvornikov's appointment follows a catalogue of Russian military failures. Russia's now switching its focus to eastern Ukraine. Ukraine's president, Volodymyr Zelensky, pushed for more help from the U.S. and Western allies in an interview with 60 Minutes' Scott Pelley inside his war rooms in Kiev. They have to supply weapons to Ukraine as if they were defending themselves and their own people. If they don't speed up, it will be very hard for us to hold on against this pressure. No. There is pressure for Germany and other countries to stop doing business with Russia. CBS's Ed O'Keefe. India is also a customer of Russian oil, and that's expected to be a big topic of conversation today when President Biden speaks virtually with India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi. India is also one of those countries that buys military equipment from Russia, and they haven't taken punitive steps against the Putin regime. It's also likely to be part of the conversation. President Biden is set to announce new rules on ghost guns made from 3D printers and online kits. The guns have no serial numbers. Law enforcement officials say that makes them next to impossible to track down. Shannon Watts, founder of Moms Demand Action, will be at the White House for the announcement. It begins with uh, being on record for having bought the ghost gun in the first place. So that is an important part of this, which is to have a background check, just like anyone would to either buy or assemble a firearm. There's no end in sight to the threat of severe weather, this time from the central south to the upper Midwest. 
Here's CBS's Jim Crisula. The National Weather Service is predicting a major three-day severe weather outbreak, including tornadoes. Today's threat area runs from Texas to southern Illinois, with Arkansas expected to see the worst of the storms. A developing winter storm has prompted blizzard warnings in parts of Montana and the Dakotas. COVID cases have been ticking up in Philadelphia. City health officials are expected to decide today whether to bring back indoor mask mandates. Health Commissioner Dr. Cheryl Bettigold. Philadelphia is unique and that we are the poorest big city in the country, making us more vulnerable to COVID-19 than many places in the country. Cases fueled by the BA2 variant of Omicron are up 41% in Philly compared to two weeks ago. Hospitalization rates remain low. Dow down 144. This is CBS News. There's always something new under the sun. CBS Mornings, weekdays on CBS Introducing Venture X, Capital One's new travel card for people always asking, Where next? You earn 10x miles on hotels and rental cars, and 5x miles on flights booked through Capital One Travel, and 2x miles on everything else you buy with Venture X. Plus, receive premium travel benefits like access to over 1,300 airport lounges. The Venture X card from Capital One. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com for details. You're the one who protects the flock, and that requires an eye for detail. Because when safety and well-being are on the line, it's the details that can save lives. Even when no one else is watching, you see everything. Granger gets you, and we're here for you. And all the ones who get it done with a wide range of safety products and solutions. Plus board-certified safety consultants here to answer your questions. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Queen Elizabeth is doing something she rarely does, talking about herself, even if it is in the third person. I'm better now. The Queen meeting COVID survivors at a virtual hospital visit this weekend, shedding some light on her own recent bout with COVID-19. It does leave one very tired and exhausted, doesn't it? Ten days shy of her 96th birthday, the British monarch's got increasing mobility problems. She'll miss the traditional Maundy Thursday services this week for the first time since 1970, sending son and heir Prince Charles in her stead. Vicki Barker, CBS News, London. The hedgehog rules at the movies. You brought some kind of <clears throat> space porcupine. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 with James Marsden. Jim Carrey sold $71 million worth of tickets over the weekend. 22% more than opening weekend numbers for the original just before the pandemic. Hedgehog movies produced by Paramount, our parent company. Deborah Rodriguez, CBS News. Imperial Valley Business Resource Center is a one-stop shop for business development. We provide a complete roadmap to success for startups, entrepreneurs, and small to medium-sized businesses. Our in-house services include startup assistance, workforce development, manufacturing assistance, site selection, access to capital, accounting, cash flow management, permitting assistance, government contracting, international trade, incentive analysis, and more. Contact IBBRC today at 760-353-8332 or visit IVBRC.org to get started. CBS News, a service of the Imperial Valley Economic Development Corporation. It's all here. You've got Carol Buckley with the best oldies on the radio.